Creativity is an addiction. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity. Totally uncut because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. Here in Carolina, there's a saying that we live by. Stick around for five minutes. The weather, trust me, is going to change. Yesterday, it was blistering. It was a nor'easter that felt like a flood with dipped, very cold temperatures. A beautiful sunrise today and much warmer temps. That's what greeted us in the forest today. It always reminds me of what it's like to wake up after having a very painful headache the night before. That feeling of being set free. Putting focus on the moment is learning how to recognize what is your now. Ask anyone around you, and it becomes a challenge because it's not an easy task to look beyond a materialistic series of walls and paths. What is in your now? Do you physically feel the presence of unhuman energy, the rays of light, the scent of a late fall, the touch of the dampness, the call of the distant crow? They're present. Why aren't you in your now? Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walkthrough in everyday world. I am a daily writer. I am a silent wolf. I sit beneath the brush of a tree and I just watch life. You watch and learn from other animals. Learn from the curve of the wind. You learn from the rising of the sun. There's so much to learn, but too often we just keep on walking. Yeah, I'll deal with it later when I have more time. This is The Daily Mess. How easy is it for you to be you? Constantly we think, nobody can do what I do. I often wonder if that's a horrible way to walk. Are we trying to make it difficult for other people to be us? It would be nice to share a conversation with someone who's doing exactly what we're doing at the level we're doing it. When you say, nobody can do it like me, it's almost like telling your circle of friends, I'm being selfish right now. All of this belongs to me. Go away. Teach your path. Learn to embrace others like you. But most of us don't out of a fear of losing what we have. Is it really losing or is it graduating? I write every day, mainly because this page is part of everything that I do. Documenting the path in writing serves as an invitation. I want to be like you. Show me the way and I'll show you my way so that we can have that conversation. How easy is it for you to be you? And we've all said it, like I said. Nobody can do it like me. Okay, that's great. I love that. That's positive. That's courage. That's confidence. That's taking that energy that you bring to the world and saying, look, here I am and this is what I bring to the picture. I love that. I love that. But to be you, are you teaching you? Because like I said, it's a very lonely place in a creative world. When you don't get the opportunity to sit down with other creative people. And the only thing that you've got in your hands is what you've created, but you didn't invite anybody else in. That's the beauty of life. That's the walk. That is sitting there inside that storm that we had here, that nor'easter, and learning from that storm that there's always a story. Now share it. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.